Thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking about plate tectonics. The Earth's crust is made up of plates that move across the Earth's surface. The continents sit on these plates and move around with them. You may be familiar with the supercontinent Pangaea that formed about 270 million years ago. Its formation and subsequent separation were the result of plate tectonics. So what is causing these plates to move? The main driver of plate movement is convection. Convection is the heating and cooling of the mantle. The hot mantle rises towards the crust, where it is then cooled, causing it to sink back down to be reheated. And this cycle is repeated and moves the plates along. Anywhere two plates meet is called a plate boundary. There are three main types, convergent boundaries, divergent boundaries, and transform boundaries. I'll talk about each of these briefly. So convergent boundaries are where two plates come together in a head-on collision, uh, usually between oceanic plate and a continental plate. When this happens, one plate will be subducted beneath the other plate, so it will be pulled into the mantle and melted down. And this melting can cause a volcano to form on the continental plate. At divergent boundaries, two plates are moving in opposite directions. As convection currents drive these plates apart, magma rises up from the mantle to form a new crust and a ridge or depression between the plates. And finally, in transform boundaries, two plates slide past one another. This sliding motion results in built-up tension that, when released, causes earthquakes. The San Andreas Fault is a well-known transform boundary. So remember, convection currents in the upper mantle cause plates to move, which results in the three boundary types that we discussed. And all of this is happening along the Earth's plates simultaneously and moves the continents about one inch per year. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any further questions, throw them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. I'll catch you next time.